Hey guys, Bradley Washer here, and I wanted to record a quick video to talk about capsule shadows and what do they mean for us inside of Unreal Engine. So as you can see right here, I have a new project and I've started with the third person template. From here, if we click play, I want you to observe something very quickly. And that is that I have this nice shadow when I'm running outside, but if I walk my character into a shadow, you'll notice what happens. Well, it looks like my shadow completely disappeared. But what's really happening is all shadows are, in this case, uh, made from a stationary uh, directional light, as you can see up in the corner um, in the world outliner there. And my shadow is the same color as the shadow of this wall. So when I go into shadow, you can't see the shadow from my character anymore. And you're going to notice a slight kind of uh, haziness around our character when we get close to this wall. It's really subtle, but that's actually screen space ambient occlusion. It's a post-process effect. Uh, we do have to pay for it. It's in your post-process volume, but we want something a little bit stronger and we're gonna use capsule shadows to achieve that result. So I'm gonna hit escape. And the very first thing we're going to do is wherever you have your character saved in your project, in this case with the third person content, underneath uh, character mesh, we're gonna find the SK mannequin, standing for skeletal mesh. And this is important. This only works with skeletal meshes right now. And what will happen is we're going to take that skeletal mesh window. And when it opens up, we're gonna scroll down on the side until we find a category called lighting. And in there, we're gonna see a thing called shadow. And if I move this over a little bit, physics asset. And you might be asking, well, what do we need for there? For right now, for a quick test, we can actually just use the same physics asset that's on our character. So I'm going to just click and drag this up here. You could also search for it. Um, if you didn't have anything in here, you could come to this little drop down and again, pick the mannequin physics asset. What has happened now is if we open this physics asset up, so if I double click on it, you can see that we represented our mesh with all these different capsules. This one happens to also use some cubes which aren't gonna work 100% how we want them to. So what you could ultimately end up doing is making your own, but for this test, this will be fine. So I'm gonna close both of these and hit play. You're gonna notice something, nothing has changed. Even though we've added this thing into our character, you might be asking, well, what's up? Why isn't that working? So we're gonna quit. And the next thing we need to do is actually go to where our mesh is being rendered in our blueprint. So that was our skeletal mesh in terms of the project, but in the scene, we have this mesh skeletal mesh component. So I'm actually going to navigate to the actual blueprint of this third person character we have set up. So edit this third person character. And once I'm inside here, I'm gonna go back to the viewport mode. doesn't matter too much. Click on mesh, which is going to be our skeletal mesh component, which is the same one that we applied that capsule physics lighting uh, asset to. And what we're going to do is we are going to search. So let me just scale this around here a little bit. I'm gonna search in the details panel. I'm gonna type in shadow. And that's just gonna get us to the lighting tab faster. And the things we're interested in are capsule direct shadow and capsule indirect shadow. You might be asking, what's the difference? Well, in about two seconds, you're gonna see, and if I kind of pull this to the side, when we have capsule direct shadow, it means even when we're not in indirect light. So, and when we're in indirect light, we mean we're in a shadow. If I'm in direct light, as I am now, and I click direct shadow, you'll notice that my shadow on my character changed a bit. So over here, I click, that's the uh, shadow mapped, uh, rendered to texture, basically uh, image of our character. And if we do capsule shadows, this is a, a representation of our shadow has been replaced with that asset we saw. And that gives us a little bit of control, but ultimately we have to decide what we wanna do with that. The next thing we wanna check on is capsule indirect shadows. So ultimately we have to decide if when we're not in the shadows, if we want them to be a little more blurry or we want them to be a little straight. I'll show you one more trick we can do with those in a second. But once we have uh, both of these enabled, I'm going to uh, close this window temporarily. If we click play and we run into the shadow, which you'll notice now underneath our feet are these nice kind of little soft shadows. So it helps kind of ground our character and make them look a little more realistic. 
When I get close to the wall, you'll also be noticing some extra shadowing by his arm as we kind of cast onto the surfaces around us. And this can really help sell the realism of your characters in games. It's a nice little touch and it's not as expensive as you might think. There's an initial starting cost um, to just enable capsule shadows and then every capsule you add after incurs a small cost. So the last thing I want to show you that's interesting about capsule shadows is actually we can adjust in the direct settings here. So remember we turned on indirect and direct ref, uh, influences. If we come to our directional light, so our light source right here, and we scroll up, we're going to notice an option here called source angle. And this basically kind of accounts to how wide the light is in terms of its total mass. So if I come in here and I make it bigger, you're gonna notice it's going to make a softer shadow coming off of our character. So again, representing a bigger light source, uh, giving us more of this nice soft fall off. And this can be really useful to kind of tone in um, a different look or feel you might be going for um, in your games. So again, if you guys like this video and found it useful, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.